Monticello was designed and built in 1770 by Thomas Jefferson, and he raised his family here. Now, if you look right out the window, you can still see the old slave cabins out back. All right, any questions? Yeah, is it true that Jefferson had an affair with one of his slaves, and that some of his descendants are black? So the Yankee scientists say, but uh, personally, I don't believe it's true. The hell it ain't! Turns over, get out! And don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Excuse me, but who are you people? We're the Jeffersons, the rightful heirs to Monticello. And we're moving in. We're moving on up to Monticello. Monticello. Where that deluxe honky mansion in the sky. <laughs> the king finally has his castle. No, because some old white dude couldn't keep his peanut butter out the chocolate. <laughs> look who's master of the plantation now. Well, look here, master. This slave ain't doing all these windows on what you've been paying. She's right, George. You have to stop being such a cheapskate. Florence has got to eat dope. <laughs> yeah, Wheezy, I guess you're right. Hey, Florence, how about I pay you in dog food? Kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> George! That's okay, Mrs. Jefferson. When you're short, bug-eyed, and ugly, you gotta take it out on somebody. Ha, ha, ha. Why don't you stop running your mouth and run a dust rag over this old junk? You a maid? Start maiden. Well, I'll move the broom, but it won't be across this floor. Oh, it's oh, gonna oh, be oh, right oh, now stop, you two. George, you know what's missing here? A nice big refrigerator. So when I'm sitting at home watching my big screen TV, I could reach back and grab me a nice cold pig's foot. <laughs> Get out, you Negroes! Who said that? Me! The ghost of Thomas Jefferson. Oh my God, George, it's your ancestor! Mrs. Jefferson, let me ask you a question. Which way you running? I don't know, Florence, why? Because I don't want your big ass blocking me when I vote for that door. You Negroes should go back where you belong. Wait a minute, we belong right here. And who are you calling Negroes? Hey, hey, George, take it easy. He probably doesn't know that times have changed, and we call ourselves African Americans now. Yes, I do. But you'll always be Negroes to me. George, <laughs> beat his dead ass. Wait a minute, Mr. and Mrs. Jefferson. Maybe he'll listen to me. I am with these fools. Hell, I ain't even black. I'm Puerto Rican. So if you don't mind. You're I'm... not going anywhere. George! I recognize that makeup. Isn't this the same shade Michael Jackson uses? <laughs> so what you're saying is, he ain't a ghost. Oh. Exactly. Oh, 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 boo? <laughs> when I get finished kicking your ass, it's gonna be more like boo-hoo. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. I'm not a ghost. I'm your cousin Buford Jefferson. We white Jeffersons drew straws to see who'd have to scare you off, and I lost. Oh, really? Well, I'm about to lose my foot up your ass. No, 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 George. It's 1999, and this is a big house, and there's room for all the Jeffersons, white and black. Yeah, Wheezy, I guess you're right. After all, we could always use a white butler. <laughs> Buford, get our bags and step on it. Right away, Mr. Jefferson. Oh, and while you're at it, don't forget to get mine, too. Now, wait just a minute. I don't mind taking orders from Negroes, but I'll be damned if I'm going to fetch and carry for some Puerto Rican. Well, I got your Puerto Rican right here. Where you at, Mr. Jefferson? Let me tell you something. I'm going to 